Thomas, AP reporter at the White House, who just broke a story about an Inspector General report involving Ronnie Jackson and MSNBC's Garrett Haig on Capitol Hill. Um, I do want to start with you, uh, uh, Ken. This report from the IG's um, from the IG from 2012 saying that there was unprofessional behavior, saying the staff felt like uh, they were working for parents caught in a bitter divorce because of the way Ronnie Jackson was um, interacting with a rival doctor. And David, President Trump considers the president... That's right, Katie. It basically describes a power struggle in 2012 involving uh, Dr. Jackson and a rival doctor at the time who was President uh, Obama's uh, top physician, that there was a, a very very uh, high level of tensions between the two leaders of this unit. It, it provides some, um, you know, uh, idea of, of, of what should have happened back then. It, it recommends that they should have considered replacing one or both of the senior leaders of the office of the physician to the president and the director of the White House medical unit. It also just says that there should have been uh, clear lines of authority and responsibility needed. Now, it doesn't get into any mention of over prescribing or drinking of, on the job. Those, those uh, uh, questions have been raised as part of Dr. Jackson's nomination, but it does put him in the middle, in the thick of a real tough uh, situation in the White House and calls into question his leadership capabilities. Ken, let's talk about the vetting process. That sort of thing would usually come up in the vetting process when you're uh, trying to install somebody as a cabinet secretary, no? Absolutely. It speaks to the, the lack of vetting process that we've seen here so far. Uh, as, as you may remember, Dr. Jackson was kind of like a surprise pick for VA secretary. His name hadn't really been floated uh, prior to that, and there wasn't a lot of reviewing from what we can tell of his background. The president has a very good rapport with Dr. Jackson. He's someone who he believes in. He spoke about that earlier today, but in terms of his, his, his ability to run uh, the VA, which is a sprawling organization. It's, it's, it's an agency that has had a lot of trouble in the past. Uh, that that draws into, calls into question his ability to do so. The White House also says the president wasn't aware of any of these allegations. Why was the president not aware of this when he's the president's nominee? That's a good question. Uh, we, we were able to review this report, and it's really not clear uh, how far up the chain of command it has gone, whether it was something that the president was able to review before he made the nomination. It's, it's, it's really unclear how, uh, how you know, long they've, they've known about these allegations in this report. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.